It is one of those time of the years again, with all the chaotic celebrations about incoming onslaught of the darker hours and freezing temperatures. This is when I realized when I saw Maria Felix all alone in a busy street. He, I mean she, is buying a burrito for dinner. She's also getting coffee from Starbucks because her midnight shift is about to happen. It is that Wednesday night once again. It happens every two years. Then she invited me to follow her in her job. She is to look over the other world that's preparing for another celebration. It is time for me to go into the other world. You shall come over, Maria Felix announced. I told her I have to go. I want to see what the chaos is all about, and I did. She later told me that I can come over later on Sunday, and I said okay. What I saw is all the happy, joyous chaos that is happening in the streets, at the same time destructive. Everybody in town thought that it is going to be the last time that they are going to party. They do it as though they are never going to do it again. They thought that all the joy is going to go away for a while. I also thought they are going away for a while. So that I thought I might as well join them. The joy went away by Sunday. I decided to meet Maria Felix again. It took a long time for her to get ready, so I waited patiently for it. I talked to the other members who are pulled into this or ordeal of waiting Maria Felix. I wasn't the only one waiting for her. She goes out all fabulous while announcing that she is ready. Finally. We were led underground to transport ourselves into another world she talks about. People are walking on the street slowly. We were in awe. The rest of the group stands there. Maria told us to move along. We don't want to get sucked into the other world. They were all dead. Uh, they were all dead. They wore masks to pretend that they are dead. Just a couple of days ago, they were partying their ass off. Now, they wish they want to die, wearing a mask that they want to die. It is a somber tribe that commemorates the dead, and want to make themselves realize that they are going to be dead some days. Maria Felix announced that it's time to eat. As we move through the crowds, we started to notice that we have been walking for hours. Maria Felix announced that we are lost. Maria Felix don't wear glasses, she announced. We ask around for directions and we finally arrive. And Maria Felix announced that we have found a place and we shall feast. After we ate, everybody is full. We were clueless in where we were going. We were clueless now, Maria Felix announced. We shall go home. You guys should go home. Maria Felix announced. A 
bit disappointing, I say. Maria Felix never disappoints anyone, she announced. I have shown you the signs of the end of summer. The end of all. Darkness will surround you all. The animals are happy because they slip it off. Humans can't slip it off. You have to live through it and some of you may not survive. That is why the people are somber. They are somber for the oncoming dark hours and freezing temperatures. Maria Felix is right. Maria Felix is always right, she announced. Maria Felix is right. We shall go through the tunnel where we came from and take you home, Maria Felix announced. As we walked out of the tunnel, she's gone. We had experienced a magical world and now we are back in reality. This is very disappointing. Maria Felix had opened our eyes to this world of dark hours and freezing temperatures. Now it's time to sleep again. <laughs>